Well, nothing to write home about when it comes to sales of homes across India. But the real estate sector did get some of its mojo back on the deal street. 2014 was to witness some of the largest real estate deals with big ticket purchases across commercial and residential segments. Nikhil Narayan Sivdas takes us through the top investments and handshakes of the year. 2014 may well turn out to be the year that the Indian real estate sector started to turn around. With a new government making the right noises, experts say that investor interest is clearly returning. Mr. Modi really sold India's story very well. And that basically led to an influx of capital. All those people who never thought they will return to this country for real estate investment also came back. And therefore, all the fund managers were suddenly able to raise money. The most visible sign is in the rise in private equity deals in real estate. According to data from Cushman and Wakefield, private equity real estate deal activity rose by 65% from 2013, with 66 deals being signed this year. The top five deals include Standard Charter and Blackstone's investments in Vrindavan Tech Village, Clearwater Capital Partners and SSG Capital Management's investments in Lotus Greens, and the Xander Group's investments in Supertech Limited and Capstone Constructions, the group company of Rustam G developers. Another theme which experts expect to be big in 2015 is apartment buyout funds, where PE funds raise capital to buy into the high inventories that are piled up among real estate developers. Clearly, one dominant theme which was about acquisition of completed offices, where you saw all the big bulge, big ticket deals happen. Um, you know, with lots of Indian and foreign investors trying to, to acquire income, income generating completed office buildings. The other big theme was residential, where the focus was on debt more than equity. And that's been the trend for some time now. The market is abuzz with talks of highly leveraged developers offloading an additional 3,000 crore rupees worth of housing inventory to PE investors at 15-20% to 20 discount in the first few months of 2015. While PE deals rule the roost, land and asset handshakes were not to be left behind. Several corporates have taken advantage of the stressed nature of the market. Top land and asset deals include Brookfield Asset Management's investment in Unitech Corporate Parks, the sizable land buyout by M3M of Sahara's land parcel in NCR, the Oberoi Group's deal with Tata Steel, and the Lodha Group's purchase of land from Clarent Chemicals. Industry leaders say 2015 will see this trend rise in number. 2015, once deliveries are set aside, we'll probably see a larger number of deals, maybe not in land, because everyone would like to get more and more from the land banks which they already have, or land uh, assets which they have. But yes, in terms of deals in assets, maybe those will rise. The new year is expected to bring in further clarity on REITs, paving the way for companies to launch REITs in the international market. Add to this the slew of exits that FDI and construction is expected to bring in and 2015 may well turn out to be the turnaround year for the sector. From Mumbai, Nikhil Narayan Shivdas, NDTV.